All right, 2010 Pontiac G6. Got an oil leak. And it's coming from the main, the main seal there. So up top we're dry, but you can see the oil that's coming out of the crank seal. So we're gonna pull that baby out and change it. All this is kind of a pain just to get into there. So I got a lot of feedback from the last video and a lot of people, their, their disdain for, oh, rock up there, for what Pontiac did here was unbelievable. Oh, they made that oil pan come out of there so hard. <laughs> Gary, 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 what can I do for you? Gary, are you butt dialing me? So I used to work with Gary. He has butt dialed me, I don't know why, but he's got the radio going. Now he just killed it. Hi, Gary. Now if he, now Gary, Gary, if you call me back, I'm not answering. Just so you know, I, you called, I answered. All I heard was you listening to the radio. So I'm not going to answer the phone if you call me back. Turn the motor a little bit and we're gonna investigate what's going on there. And then we'll look together. So right there, you can see the oil that's coming out of that seal. It comes down and it spins and gets everything all oily. We'll get that pulley off and then we'll get the seal out. I'm not gonna say it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not saying that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm right, not. So we got the belt off and the puller on. So I really think the people that designed the Pontiac G6 hate humans, hate people, hate customers, hate us. It's gonna hit here soon. Oh my God, it didn't. Did you see that? It didn't hit. So they, did, they designed it so that it wouldn't. Okay, so I take some of what I said back. Oh, there's that leaky seal. Yeah, that seal is so leaking. You can see here how it was leaking down. And you could you could see it's dripping here and then down here and then down. So this seal is looking good. That's the one we changed. And we just want to go in there, hook it. Not too deep, because you don't want to scratch that. And then pop her out. And then there you have it. That is that. Then I have the new seal here which will go in there, yep, perfect. All right, I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit and then uh, we'll get this in there and get this out of here. That is a pretty good groove in there. And if you look, you can see the lines in there where it has been riding and groove that in. So I'm gonna see what a crank pulley costs it if they got one and see if the owner wants to have one installed. Okay, so here's the difference. This is brand new, and this one, you can see the grooves in it. So with the seal, if you try and put a new seal on that grooved up shaft, it's gonna leak. So we have to put this guy in. It's a new one, uh, $79. 
Okay, we're gonna be putting a seal in there. This seal is 3 eighths of an inch wide. So that's 0.375. The depth here is 475. So it's about a hundred thousandths until you hit that face. So I'm gonna get this guy started in there and then we'll drive it in. We're just gonna run a little bit of aviation. Permatex around here. And you can, some people use RTV. I just use aviation. I've always used aviation. It's good stuff. Yep, that's in there. Nice and flush. Really good. And we just want to oil the lip. There's some good squirts in there. And then we're putting oil on the shaft here. That'll make everything nice and slippery. Alright, let's clean that up a little. Okay, key to the top. Okay. There we go. I think there's enough here to slowly take this on. Yeah, there's there's pretty many turns. So we'll just go really easy to crank that in. Oh, it is going on pretty nice. That's really good. So it's starting pretty easy. Oh yeah, it's going on there really nice. Okay, we're in. Now I gotta torque it. Okay, beautiful. That's it. So we got it, so all we gotta do is put the belt on and then put the plastics on. That was not a bad job. Oh, I guess it wasn't bad. You guys got to see it. Wow, that was pretty good. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna start it up. I'm just gonna, well first we're gonna spray we just gonna spray all that down, clean that all up, get all that oil out of there, and then we'll start it up. All right, that's it for that job. I'm gonna start this up and let it run and then verify that we don't have any gross leak, and then I'll release it to the customer and they can drive it, and we'll just keep an eye on it. If the seal got torn, during the install, we would see a leak. So we put on a new harmonic balancer, crank pulley, whichever you prefer. And the seal, pretty easy job. The hardest job was getting all of the plastics off. We cleaned up all the undersurface, got all the oil cleaned up, and then we verified by running a vehicle that there wasn't a gross leak. Like if we would have punctured or if we would have tore that lip seal, we would have saw oil running down right away. So I'm gonna put the wheel back on and get this thing out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.